What's going on, guys? Chase, Ghost Picks against the spread. GhostPicksATS.com. Cheers. Sunday morning. All right, let's do a recap. Let's see what went on yesterday. Free play. Dodgers over 10. It did not come through. We were a base hit away from covering that one. But, again, 10's a lot of runs in a baseball game. The game was played like we wanted it to. Um, there were a couple of really good defensive innings by both. A couple of home runs got um, denied at the warning track, at, you know, at Coors Field in Denver. So, you know, Every once in a while, we drop one. I can't win them all. So, I was confident in that play. I'd make that play with those two pitchers all over again. <clears throat> like I said, we were right there at the very end with, you know, literally a man on third, a man on first, and we were a good base hit away from covering that spread. I really thought we were going to end up pushing, but they fell short, only scored nine runs, and we had the Boston Red Sox yesterday as our red alert play. That one right there, the way the game ended is the worst way to lose a game. The game starts, third inning comes around. The Red Sox have a great third inning, scoring three runs. Their bats are picking up. Some unlikely batters. You know, Mookie Betts did not have a great game. He went basically 0 for 4 yesterday. Um, he did give up, you know, a sacrifice fly right there in the seventh inning to drive in a run which ultimately ended up tying the game 4-4. Four to four. Um, David Price had one bad inning, and that was the third inning where he gave up four runs. And so for the majority of the game, it was a 4-3 to three lead by the Arizona Diamondbacks. But the bats of Boston were overall, you know, they were doing well yesterday. They were getting on base. They were generating offense. They just weren't getting people in scoring position. They weren't hitting the long ball. So... It was a lot for them to come back, tie the game up. And I guess the only complaint that I have as far as what the Red Sox did or did not do was as they started going through their bullpen and we get past the eighth inning, I'm looking, I'm like, okay, we're going to rotate a pitcher again. They didn't, even though he had been playing well. I was like, okay, it's time to throw in a fresh arm. Let's stall the team a little bit. And then even midway through um, the bottom of the ninth, giving up a hit. I'm like, okay, we, we got to stall the team. We got to put in a fresh arm. Let's go ahead and end this. With two outs, one on, a base hit, line drive right there to, um, to shallow left center or to shallow left field, and it put it in play. And they walked one across. They walked it off one five to four. I loved that game yesterday. Had a ton on it. Um, but like I said, Sometimes we drop plays. You know, we can't win every baseball game. There's still not another baseball handicapper out there that's giving you plays like I am consistently winning. Um, yesterday we did have the uh, Detroit Tigers on the money line, minus 125. That was an easy winner, 7-4. to four. We also gave out the Yankees, minus 1.5 on the run line. That ended up coming through. Um, Aaron Judge is starting to come to form there. Um, congratulations to my Chicago Cubs for absolutely blowing the doors off of Milwaukee at uh, Miller Park yesterday, or Wrigley North as we like to call it. Didn't have a play in that, but I was watching it back and forth between that and the Red Sox game. Um, so yeah, a 2-2 two and two day in baseball. We did have a top-tier play yesterday on uh, in the NHL on the Columbus Blue Jackets to round out their regular season on the puck line at plus 150 odds blew them out so if you played that as a top tier play uh, you made some really good money there uh getting plus 150 so easy easy win there um and we did have one basketball play yesterday we um we took over in the auburn and virginia game over 131 almost had overtime there but didn't get it. Congratulations to Virginia for finally making it to a finals game. I still, as I said the other day, I think Texas Tech is the best team left. They're truly going to be tested with the defensive edge of Virginia, the way they guard the three. But like I said, I think the key factor here within, it doesn't matter who's playing Texas Tech, is their length and their reach, which cannot be matched by any other team. So I think they have that advantage. They also have the speed advantage. And if they can prevent Guy from getting hot and they can prevent Virginia from slowing the pace down, 
I think Texas Tech goes on to win fairly comfortably. But we'll see what happens. Two great teams, and I think it'll be a really, really good game um, tomorrow night. So, anyway, today what we've got, we've got some uh, NBA action. We've got some MLB action. The NHL postseason is starting on the 10th this coming week. Um so make sure you jump on that. I'm going to do my entire NHL postseason package for um, for $199. If you want to get on every single NHL pick that I'm going to have, premium, top tier, whatever. If I were to red alert an NHL play, which is not extremely likely, anybody that jumps on that, I'll, I'll give them that. But $199, you get the rest of my NHL, every play that I release. And um, we're still hot as ever, still the number one in the NBA. I'm willing to honor that today, too, just because of the rough day yesterday. Uh, last week, we had Denny Hamlin as one of our uh, dark horse predictions in NASCAR at plus 1,500 odds. He ended up winning the race, so anybody that's on my NASCAR package last week had a huge, huge win. Make sure you jump on that. Go to the website, ghostpicksats.com. I'm going to get you on a free play, and I'm going to get out of here because I've got to get those NASCAR picks out and uh, finish up with the last few people that bought the Sunday Fun Day, which is... 20 bucks, 19.99 gets you whatever capper you choose, all premium and top tier plays from all sports. NASCAR is not included in mine. That's completely separate because I have a capper that works for me on that. So um, we're going to go to Major League Baseball, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm rolling right back with the Boston Red Sox. People are going to think I'm crazy. Uh, Velazquez on the mound versus Kelly for the Diamondbacks. Obviously, Arizona is still at home. Neither pitching is anything to, to write home about, so not much to say in pitching. There's just too much talent on the Red Sox. There's just there, the, As far as talent for talent, it doesn't match up. The Red, starts, the Red Sox have started slower than any other team out there, but there's still no denying that that is one of the most talent-ridden teams out there. They are just loaded and packed with talent, and they're going to come around. They are. Do they come around this week? Maybe not. Does it take them a month? I highly doubt it. They're going out there against a team that does not match up well to them in pitching, in bullpen, and certainly doesn't match up with them in offense. Keep in mind, we're still dealing with a defending World Series champion that's going to make a run at the, a the AL East this year. So just remember who said that. Anybody can bash the Red Sox right now. Trust me, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to say a lot of things, especially after what they lost me yesterday. But... It is what it is, and we'll move on from it, and we'll bounce back, and we'll have another winning day in the MLB just like we always do. The line opened up at minus 105 in favor of the Diamondbacks. It jumped pretty quickly to minus 115 in favor of the Red Sox. Quick money shift there. We've got currently sitting at minus 120. There's money all over the place coming in on really both sides, but this is more of a public play. I like it even more the fact that the Red Sox lost in the fashion they did last night. This is a premium play. It is on the card. I'm going to back the Red Sox, a team that just can't keep losing to teams that are just inferior to them. So I'm going to take the Boston Red Sox. I'm going to take a minus 120. That is a premium play. Make sure you get locked in on that. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to get finished up here, and uh, I'm going to go head out and watch some baseball myself today live. Uh, so anyway, guys, appreciate it. Love you. Good luck. God bless. Grind on.